What to do, Stat Screw? It's your boy coming at you guys with another video. And today, guys, we are episode four Pokemon Legends Arceus gameplay. Guys, I've been enjoying the hell out of this game. I'm not gonna hold you. This, bro, everything about this game is super fun. Like, I can't just get off of it. <laughs> Other than that, y'all already know, man, we be doing the Pokemon Unite content, man. Definitely look out for more content here on YouTube. We definitely gonna wrap, wrap that up. But if y'all don't see it a lot on YouTube, it's because we do stream it over there on Twitch. That's twitch.tv forward slash kids stats spelled just the same as it is here on the YouTube channel. But those who have been under a rock and did not know Pokemon Legends Arceus is here. It is among us. A lot of people already beat it already. Y'all already know the vibes with that. Uh, there's potential DLC in the words. We don't know if that's true yet, but hopefully like we get down to that because I ain't gonna hold you. I kind of need some DLC for this game. I'm gonna be real with you. Now, in the last episode, guys, we last left off beating up on a Krigatot. Um, he was enraged or some shit like that. Uh, we had to kick his ass. Uh, and next thing you know, I went to sleep and a car is kicking down my door like she's the police. So we're gonna go check her out, see what's uh see what's cracking. What the hell are you beating on my door like that for, huh? There you are. Let's hurry Harry to the headquarters. All right. Look who's being punctual. Finally realize that you're wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as ruler of time. My people follow a true almighty Sinnoh, the fount of all creation and ruler of space. <laughs> you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make a vast Hisui space? Better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time, almighty leader of the Pearl Clan. <laughs> I worried you get lost in this pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me get lost in almighty Sinnoh's great gift to, Pearl, to the Pearl Clan in our world's very basis. You wish. They just hate each other, huh? I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Commodore's office. I believe it was you that started this. <laughs> I bet you they're gonna grow up to be husband and wives and shit. Watch, just mark my words. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman uh, in the reservance of uh, space is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who is going on about time, Adamant, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan prudently coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean, the commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation after you report to him. Yeah, I'm really feeling my fit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the haircuts so much. I might, we might get a new fit. We might get a new haircut. I don't know yet. Just, you know, stay tuned. And here they go arguing to Commodore. What do you intend to do about Cle that cleaver, Commander Commodore? He may be descended from the warrior of Almighty Tenno, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him go in a rage. <sighs> You do get, you do get right to the point, Adamant. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lore of the Pearl, Pearl Clan. Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly. We're a lord of the Plan Clan. Uh, concern, uh I skipped that whole word and I tried reading it before it was over. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. But even folk on the galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone got to do something here. 
they gonna put me on the job. You already know. They've been sacrificing me since I got on this damn island, bro. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the pearl bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. <laughs> he was like, yo, y'all go in there and get y'all ass wolf. I'm not sacrificing any of my people. He might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what d drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is the first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm. I see you've arrived. The pawn, me. <laughs> this is Kid Stats, the newest member of our survey quarters. The pawn, he might as well say. Aha. Uh -huh. I heard from Mai you earned weirdest favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan. If you want to be formal. That's just a mouthful. Just call me Adamant. A mouthful? Hello? If you came from beyond the space time rift, could you be from space where almighty Sinnoh is said to be residing? Hey, hold on, you reaching, bruh. I'm gonna give you a little secret. Almighty Sinnoh is Arceus, but we, we just now here nor there. All right. I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my, my watchwords, which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I mean, I guess I did. Uh, I'm just as high as you are right now. I have a proposition. Why not send this one? See, this is what I'm talking about, bro. He's okay. He's supposed to be big bad commander. Why don't you take your ass out there and do something about it? He just pawning me up. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what we must be done? <sighs> Y'all just pawning me off. You send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver? This newcomer with no experience? says the leader with almost no experience <laughs> clounder straight clounder being a good leader isn't a matter of time it's a matter of embracing hasui's fastness without fear well then there you have it if how new you are doesn't matter then let's give this kid his chance i'm so commander let's try this your way this should be fun I get to see how good this galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh must made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We've met and stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon. Only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Kid Stats. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of this situation. Uh, I should have said, oh. Uh, remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the sky above. People naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard Work yourself to the very bone. All right, bro. If you say so, dog. You say so, homie. If you say so, bro. Uh, but I do remember. I think the lady said she wants to catch a Geo dude. I don't know if I got a Geo dude. We we'll have to see. Well, that's settled. Then there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleaver, is a descendant of the Pokemon that was blessed with the Almighty Sinnoh's pow own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Hey, man, I ain't worried about nothing, bro. I, I, come on, man. Look who y'all talking to, bro. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. You, we mustn't do anything to threaten our relationship with the Diamond Clan and Pearl Clans. Understand? I got you, friend. I got you, bro. Go me downstairs, Kiss Tax. We'll cover the details over this new mission. All right, Celine. Celine cool, bro. I ain't gonna hold. She might look mean as hell, bro. But she's solid, though. She's solid, bro. She's solid. What up, Celine? What's, what's good, girl? Ah, oh, good. You're already here. 
Professor Leviton. Oh, that's Celine, sorry. Professor Leviton. The briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, it says, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state. But as you are aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing. Niche, invincible, even. Not invincible, you. I said niche. The security courts try, uh, tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid that they didn't even come close to catching them. It seems he's far trickier opponent than even more aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they are out. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Come on, man. Like, yes, I'm born for this, man. Very well. Now let's go over the particulars. The Diamond Clan program versed their nobles because they believe those Pokemon serve their almighty Sino. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations that they call noble seats. So perhaps starting a point of our research, we could find out all, what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. Hey stacks, we need to speak with you. Listen, the rift in time space seems like it connects to the world to a connects this world to a whole other world. The world that might be where almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true almighty Sinnoh that is. The one that rules over time. So, if you fell through the time versus space, that might mean you travel through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. It's not the Sinnoh you think you know, bro. Think of it. You must just be swimming in divine might. Well, I got a favor to ask you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver, quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adamant. We were just discussing our next step with regarding this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, uh -oh. you must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those, those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy team of all people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into some type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now, there's certainly a bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we got, all, we got to all share Hisui. And that means we ought to tackle our own problems together. But there aren't many capable standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we got. You'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree, Grand Tree Arena. That is in the very heart of the Heartwood. That is the very heart of Heartwood. He, his warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a bright child, who, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliant, but can be blinded, you know? He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. All right, we, we, we gone. He certainly left quickly once he finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adam and my weren't wrong, you know. If we were to study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, quell Cleaver, can you say that 10 times fast? I don't even think I'm gonna even try it. Well, Cleaver, nope, not even gonna do it. You best start by visiting the Abdul, Abude, oops, whatever. The new hike camps would be handy place for setting up, setting out toward the Grand Tree area. And you should stop by the pastures too. You want to choose? Uh, I'm sorry, listen, I'm rich, bro. I'm way ahead of you. You don't have to coach me on, like, bro. I'm ahead of you, bro. Matter of fact, look at this team. Look, let's look at the squad. Actually, speaking of looking at this, wow, we actually can evolve some Pokemans. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's go ahead and like do that little fast forward thing, and then like kind of like where you see all of them like evolve, but in real life time, it takes me more time. To, we ain't gonna talk about. It. We're gonna just get. Let's just get into this.
right, baby, and we good. Let's go ahead and head on up out of here. Finding yourself unable to pick up materials as you come across. That sounds like you. Would you be last, uh, wise to lend me your ear for a moment and hear what I have to say? What you got for me, bro? Oh, you the dude I was picking on earlier, but the land chops. What's, what's going on, chops? What's popping, G? You can carry around even more than that in the satchel of yours if you learn a trick of packing things in. Uh, I can teach you if you like. What do you say? I mean, I know how to pack a few things in, if you know. I ain't no more. What you got for me? Uh, I like to initiate my teacher. A hundred dollars. I got that. Come on, right? hundred dollars. That's easy. Satchel space thing for a hundred dollars. I, I I'm with it. And that's all there too. Uh, you see how much more you can fit in a pack in the island. Have you been able to carry more things? I can teach you what he say. Yeah, sure. A hundred dollars, right? Fusion. He went up a hundred dollars. Wait, so does he just go up a hundred dollars every time or something? I'm about to see. Hold on, let me see. He literally goes up a hundred dollars every time. Okay. What you got? Four hundred. I'll get the five hundred. We'll, we'll get the five hundred, and then we just cut. Yeah. You know, is he? Is this shit starting to add up, bro? Hold on. This shit starting to add up. Hold on. Yeah, we're gonna stop at 500, bro. Yeah, I'm sure the next is like up 600 or something. Yeah, teach me. A thousand? I'm good, G. How are things, my good friend? Volo, the hell you on, bro? I certainly hope you've been putting this secret back straight technique hey yo <laughs> the secret back strike technique yo i taught you to get you you ain't teach me that God, I, I don't know what he talking about y'all he ain't teach that shit to me i i already knew what he did moving on either way i have some super potions here just for you oh to think of to oh think nothing of it having a survey course out and about studying pokemon is great for business you know Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Uh, whatever, bro. Appreciate the help on the soap potions, I guess. And now I must depart. There are rooms that are just calling to me. All right, bro. Say so, bro. What the hell are we gonna find in here? A Burmy? I don't even know we have Burmy. Do we have a Burmy? Roll out. I, I should have known that would have killed. That was dumb of me. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. About to lock up oh, we got some parasites. I know I don't have no parasites. What's good then? What's popping? Hit her with a gust. I don't think gust kills. I lied. Gust kills. <laughs> gust definitely kills, bro. Uh, Leafish definitely does not kill. It definitely did not. There we go. That's definitely decent enough. I'm gonna try to catch him right here. All right, so let's just throw a regular Pokeball. There's no point in wasting like heavy balls there. Gotcha, bitch. Let's go. Yo, yo, look at that big ass Paris, bro. Is that that one the alpha one? Is his eyes red? Oh, he saw me. What's good then, partner? I got a fire type right here for you. What's good? You picked the wrong house, fool! Oh, hell no. Nope. I lied. Never mind. Get, get your ass back. No, I'm. Yeah. Nah, bro. I, I was joking, bro. I'm good. Damn. Yeah, that's you. I'm not. Uh, nah, I'm good, bro. My bad. It's your, ter it's your territory, G. My bad. I'm, I'm gone. 
I'm gonna whoop up on your own little partners though. What's, what's good though? What, you ain't gonna do nothing about that. The hell I thought. I don't even know if I can climb that. Let's go this way. Hello, what's trying to attack me? Oh, you want to smoke then? What's good then? Let's pop. What level are you? 11? Oh, yeah, you dead. Oh, he lived. I'm eating that up. Let's go. I think Ponyta evolved at like level 40, bro. That's like a, that's late for like a Ponyta, bro. And rapid as is like it's decent, but it's not really it's really not that strong. It's a big ass beer rule. That's an alpha one. Hello? What level is this thing? 16? Oh, I'm kicking his ass. He probably strong as shit though, I bet. That's what we feel. Ah, what the hell was I thinking, bro? Yeah, see, like, obviously playing a game like this, bro, you have to be real careful playing a game like this, bro. Like, if you go to nuzzle out something like this, bro, you gotta, you gotta be careful. Let me strong as that was ass. I think this should be able, to, this should be able to kill. I think. I lied. It did nothing. Oh, he about to kill me now. Oh, he got icy wind. Hello. Oh my damn, bro. Yo, this is a Nuzla. I lost two really good mods, man. Luckily, this is not a Nuzla, bro. Bro. Luckily, this is not a Nuzla, dog. This wouldn't be looking good for us at all. This man is not playing, bro. This is crazy. Wow. He really took out two of our Pokemon just like that, bro. All right, so we made it. Okay, so yeah, this is a little thing that they showed in the um the preview. The little cleaver sign. That's pretty clean. That's pretty clean. So I guess every time you go to like uh these little boss Pokemon or whatever, you're gonna see like their little picture here. So I guess you'll see like what you're going against, I guess. Let's get it then. Hey, look, y'all, it's mini clay. I am Lean of the Pearl Clan. My bad, G. I just, I just said you look like mini clay. The Warden to Cleaver, the Lord of the Woods. All right, bro. And you, I've already uh, deduced that you come here to meet Cleaver. Am I right? Aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerful, awesome cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him embedded with awesome might. Well, so I must turn, turn you away. Even if it pains me, it's too dangerous for you to meet cleaver right now. I'll do anything. I'm not doing anything. I don't know. I ain't doing anything. Truly, you mean to simply give up? Is your passion for Cleaver so paltry? No, bro. I just I won't do anything, fam. I will not do anything. That that don't fly over here. We're not doing anything. But well, I'm afraid your passion is not uh, the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Irida that I am to uh, let no one near Cleaver. I will fight you myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid the battle, withdraw now while you still can. Or face the wrath of my Face the wrath of my Gumi. Says who? 
bro just for that see listen i wasn't gonna fight you but just for that nope you don't even realize uh i'm turning you away for your own safety how sad you are yo just for that i'm really about to blow this man back go gumi and see if you can ooze some good sense over this fool okay you talking big who ass was you kicking in preschool with that damn gumi bro nah fam this dude look every bit of seven years old still in kindergarten kicking kids ass that don't know anything about pokemon with a pokemon that's not even able to really be in any competitive scene gotcha fam you know what just just for that i'm not even gonna like go all out and try to like go crazy and do super effective damage I'm gonna hit you with that battle decided just like that bro Now look at him. He look like he about to go cry and sip on his damn juice box. How, 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 Hey, get it out. Get it off your chest, bro. Get it off your chest, bro. How can this be? I may be undefeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Bro, you don't know who you're talking to, bro. Normally, I simply try making him an offering. A nice heap helping of his favorite foods served up with uh, respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It's usually enough to please him and soothe his his prick prickliness of moods. He's calling him a prick, basically. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to get any offers now. Not with the way Cleaver's rampaging and running them up. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. I whipped your ass, Edna. The ancestors of Cleaver, we're there, and their cohort drew an almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it is sad. It's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in Vasasui today. Irida, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver's grown strong enough, but I'm afraid the strand poses as a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent from a false signal that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleaver means so much to our clan. I'd hope we could bring this situation under control ourselves, not throw up our hands and ask for some outsider to, for our help. But we must save Cleaver from his frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both Diamond, Clan, and the Galaxy team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people really actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our Lord frenzy? I, mean, I guess, I, mean, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Very well. Leon and I will gather foods to please Cleaver in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must re uh, search every corner of Vasa Hasui. I, mean, I guess, bro. There you go, Arceus. Yo, what, what's good, Big A? What's happening? The business power enables you to return to base camps now in the instance. So, according to the information you were able to learn from Irida and Lee in the Pearl Clan, where is this normal course of events that Frenzy Cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his own two favorite foods? I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these foods might combine into a way that we could only calm Cleaver but draw him back from this frenzy? But by your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks at the Cleaver, and know him very well cannot approach him in his current state it would be a fool's game to get close enough to offer him food hmm give me a moment if you would i need some time to ponder on this there ought to be something in my research notes that can help us all right bro i'm about to go and get some food or some shit until you figure this shit out bro 
Are they really gonna let, make me sit here and wait for him to figure this shit out? Yeah, I'm just li I'm just sitting over there listening to Akari talk, bro. Like time tickings, we wasting time, all that. Eureka. We simply have to throw the food. You quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, kids? That's. Might I suggest that you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Uh, food fight, I guess, makes sense. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokemon crafting to shake Cleaver's uh, beloved food into balls. Throw them to achieve the same uh, common effect, but from afar. A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles, well, how about Teton balls? Uh, puts uh, one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Why wouldn't you just simply call them Laventon balls, Professor? <laughs> Laventon balls, throwing Laventon balls. Uh, oh my, with that name, it'll sound like I'm the one being launched at Frenzy po Pokemon Friends. Hey, well. Yeah, something being launched. <laughs> In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary food stuffs, correct? Yeah. So you should go back to Grand Tree uh, Arena and let the Pearl Clan, Pearl Clan know our uh, plan. If you're off to Grand Tree Arena, uh, best to set out from the Heights camp, eh? Bro, y'all don't stop talking to me, bro. I know what I'm doing. I'm a growing ass man. I know how to maneuver. Oh, uh, here we go with my bro. What you want, my? What, what's good, girl? What you, what you want? My my, that Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly got uh themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Uh, you better actually see what's going on though. Let's head to what'd you end up calling it? The Heist Camp. Oh, well, she taking me there. Cool. I thought it was going to be one of those fetch quests in the city, but she's taking me to Heist Camp, which I was going to do anyway. She just stopped me a little bit just to howl at me or I guess whatever. Are we finally about to get our mount? Let's go. Let me tell you, I, I, do I have to battle him first? I spoke to Will Deer about what's going on. I told him how'd you been trekking all over the field lands? Seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. Oh, so you speak there now? All of this for someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just a wanderer who fell into the rift, into fell out of a rift into the, oh, this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Yeah, bro, I'm tired of walking, bro. We just found you worthy, you see, which means you need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, I? This is very important, so listen well. Oh, she about to play it. Mask off. Hey, in mask off. Hey, in mask off. Yeah. Molly Ferguson. Hey, check it. Uh, uh, never chase them. We chase them. Let me stop. This is Celeste flute uh, that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call the weird deer so you can ride upon him. Ride? Hello? Okay. It said the Celeska food was gifts given from the Almighty itself. And now this one is yours. All right, and I appreciate it, I guess. A flute that can be used as special Pokemon that are willing to bear uh you around the region okay bet so this is the flute that we're going to use to for all the pokemon that we get i guess see if you can play that melody come on bro i like i was born for this man mask off and mask off yeah let me stop we're to open his heart and learn well the sound of your playing Let's go. Hey, let's go. We got the mind play stone tablet term and psychic powers. Okay. Yeah, where there is a psychic type, huh? 
They use us let's go food. Oh, speaking of weird deer, speaking of weird deer, I I just remembered. We need to put we need to put a Stantler on our team. Are we kicking Badoof off? We're putting Stantler on our team. We're, we're pick, putting Stantler on our team. For sure. For sure. Mask off. Yeah. Mask. Oh, yeah. What's good? Raise up a little. Oh, he ran. They ain't no point in fighting. They, they're they not going to want to fight us. Oh, snap. What we got to be? Like, can we not fast travel? We can't fast travel order. Well, uh, y'all know the vibes, man. You know what I'm saying? Our little shortcut right here. You know what I'm saying? Got to slide down that thing like that. You got to slide down right there. You know what I'm saying? Then boop, 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 boop. Let's go. Do I even have a uh Do I have a psychic type move on this uh Stanley? I don't think so. Oh, I got confusion. Let's go. Damn, man, that's how you feel, G. Oh, you looking around? Hey, this Sound like your loss, G. Sound like your loss, brother. Oh, shoot. I ain't trying to go. Ain't nobody see that. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Is that a scyther? I think we'll I think we'll be able to catch it. Hold on. I think we'll be able to catch it without engaging. Matter of fact, we got a heavy ball too. I think heavy balls make it easier for you to catch them. Gotcha, if bitch. They don't notice you. Oh, we caught it. Hey, let's go. We, we definitely put in Scyther on our team. Uh, oh, here we go. We got another uh, wood law, so we can definitely do the thing for the that doll that guy wanted. Yeah, we definitely put in Scyther on our team. That's definitely going to happen. I can definitely use a cleaver on my team. That's clean. That's clean. And of course, the rain will come when I come when I come up here, right? But they're trying to make this like look all cinematic and shit. All right, what you got for me, G? So you see that the galaxy people came up with a method try to try to call quail Lord Cleaver's frenzy. Yep. Throw some damn food. What? You mess up Cleaver's favorite foods into a ball so you can throw offerings at them? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness, inventiveness, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offering to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with this offering. Let us begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't go ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I brought them as promised. Gah, that's right. My apologies, Ir Irida. I've forgotten all about you. I'd admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have a little of no choice but to turn to the galaxy team. But even if I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider, these galaxy team people do not share our cus custom, our values. So, prove this to me the word is standing per <laughs> we really gotta fight, bro. Really? Don't you know I'm gonna blow you away? So, prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon, I guess. You may battle by offering about 
the Pokemon you caught in those little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have a Pokemon that as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood, I guess. If you can defeat Glaceon me, I will trust you with Cleaver's fate. Will you battle us? I guess. Then allow Glaceon's true strength to chill you to your depths. Okay. Uh, this isn't a good matchup for me. Level 17. And she's faster. Ooh, and I got frostbitten. That's lame. Uh, I kind of already knew this wasn't a good matchup for us. We're going to go in with Trojan. I would assume this Glaceon has nothing but eyesight moves. Maybe like something like tackle or something swift. Um, but I, I, I think we got this. We got this for sure. I should have went with a double hit. Yeah, I should have went with the double hit. It's all good. The quick attack. Are, is she setting up? Yep, there it is. Quick attack swift. Oh, oh, that almost killed. Let's go. We still in there though. Let's go, Trojan. And obviously it's raining, so I, should, I had to put that in the fact that it was why our freaking fire damage did way less damage. See now, Pokeballs are simply uh, your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand that Pokemon that you caught and treat them as partners. I feel uh, better putting myself, my trust in you now, I think. Let me see your Pokemon's wounds. That was, thank you, you saved me from how to use my Pokemon. Appreciate that. Now explain the Galaxy Teens plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? Like I told him, we gonna throw food at him like a food fight. So because you have to keep your distance, you mass mask Cleaver's favorite foods together? Ball them up and try to quell fr frenzy by throwing them at them? Yeah. Interesting. So you develop soothing bombs of sort to calm our Lord? Yep. Very well. If it's to help soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make these bombs with our very hearts and souls. Hey, man, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Cleaver about to get his ass whooped. There. A variable amount of bombs. This should please Cleaver, if any, if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleaver, the Lord of the Woods. You ain't got to say nothing about that. I'm ready, bro. Let's get it. As am I. Let's go, bro. Turn up. Oh, mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Though it is not yet time of the ceremony, we prepare an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth. We offer our gratitude and beseech you reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen, well, Kisats, keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves uh, as you're throwing the bombs. Okay, bet. It sounds easy to know. Grasha! I'm assuming that's what he's saying. I assume that's what he's saying. I don't think you have any idea. How fast I'm really fast. I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, the ideal of these boss fights are pretty cool. I like that. It's a, it's a unique little twist to the game. Lord of the Woods, Cleaver. Let's get it then. Oh, hold on. What's this theme song, though? It's just kind of clean. Oh, he's charging up. Oh, he oh, he knocked himself out. Uh. He's a bug and rock type, right? So water type. Let's get it. What is he? Level 18. Okay, bet. Right on par with my uh, weasel. Let's get it. Uh, I don't know if I want to hit him with a strong style because then if he get extra turns, that might, you know, that might mess up. Oh yeah, see, yeah, I would have been in trouble, trouble. Ooh. Can a strong style kill here? Oh, it didn't kill. <gasps> Oh, that hurt my soul. Oh, oh, the stealth rock hurt my soul. Uh, Itachi, do your thing, bro. Oh, that hurt my soul. Uh, hit him with a leaf hit. Oh my damn, bro. We got to wait. What's his face up, bro? So that's the guy we we gonna need for this fight. We gonna need tails. I definitely. Ah oh, shit! I ain't mean to get out of there. 
we definitely gonna have to grind up because <laughs> I didn't expect for, I mean, I expect for him to be on par, but Jesus Christ, seeing how much less damage I did. Oh, he about to do his thing again. Ah! Oh, he hit me. Uh, okay, so what are we doing now? Okay, so bet. Um, we don't have double hit on that guy. Uh, Rock Smash, it won't really do nothing, but it'll lower his defenses though, right? Lower the defense. Yep. Okay. I don't even think that's going to be a. Oh, he's doing a double hit. Oh, this is going to be scary. Oh, uh, what if we did? Oh, ah. bruh. Um, <laughs> Uh, we can try Trojan, but I don't think Trojan, uh, he does neutral damage, but, uh, all my Pokemon at this point do neutral damage. I don't have a rock type. I don't, I don't think double hits the move right now. Ooh, oh, he, we got the burn though. We got the burn and there's Trojan. Oh, Trojan live. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Trojan. Uh, Strong style Ember, I think kills. I think, I think. Let's go. All right, we need to, we need to, we need to rinse and repeat, bro. Because Tails is like our best choice right now. Ch Tails is our best bet right now. Let's heal up Trojan. Uh, we're gonna heal up Tails uh, and keep whooping his ass. Okay, what's what's good then? What's what's popping? Come on, come on, come on! I'm ready for you this time. Ah! Ooh, he almost got me. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, he missed. He didn't hit the wall. Whoa! What is he doing? Ah! Okay, I didn't see that coming. All right, what's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, he didn't hit the rock. What the? Oh, whoa, whoa! He doing the thing again. Oh my lord! Oh, I'm about to die. Come on, bro. Come on, come on with it. Oh, he didn't hit it. Come on. Oh, he's doing that thing again. Oh, bro, I can't dodge that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Got him. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. We got this. What's he going with? Okay, we're going first. We're going to hit him with the. I don't. <sighs> Agile style. Do we get an extra turn here? And then go for a strong style. I don't think we get an extra turn here. Nah, we don't. Air lace. Ooh, that hurts. I don't think strong. I don't think strong style alcohol kills here, but let's just go for it anyways. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. It was enough. Uh, Cleaver, bruh. This man is this man is OD. Uh. Let me let's go with the uh Jesus Christ. Uh everything is kind of neutral right now to him. Uh it's, he's not really affected to too much of anything. I'm actually surprised he's not uh weak against Ice Fang. Um seeing how you know he's a rock type, but you know, that's neither here nor there. Or does rock type even have a weakness to ice? Is it just ground type? Got him. Let's go. Good crit, good crit static, good shit. Uh, Y'all already know the vibes, man. We gotta get, we gotta get tails up. We have to get tails up. But he's he's gonna dish out the most damage that we need for right now because uh, we have one of his weakness with water types. We can still throw these things at him, right? With, okay, yeah, he he's losing a little bit of health. Oh, cool, cool, cool. We got him. This might be this might be the last thing right here. Let's go. We're gonna hit him with a regular Aqua Jet and oh, Strong Style not gonna kill. I don't think Strong Style's gonna kill. It's not gonna be enough unless it's a crit. Oh, let's go! We got the crit. Like, a, let's go! Let's go! My God, Tails, man! Let's go! <laughs> Turn up for Tails, man! Got him. Clean little scene right there.
that's a clean scene right there. It's a clean scene. Our boy Tails got that last hit. Let's go, Tails. Good shit. Good shit. Clay be like, yeah, yeah, you did your thing. You did your thing. And said plate. So we're just gonna get all the plates for like all these little boss battles and shit like that. Still fast as fuck. What? What happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzy mind truly been put to ease now? Yep, I do believe so, sir. Does this confirm that the strange lightning was the blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? I guess. Well, this is what I think. After all we've seen, we know strange lightning came from out of the space time rift the other uh, night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him to his frizzy after all. The lightning came from the space time rift. But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space time rift, then strange lightning, uh, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power. Then, were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bonds as if I knew what I was doing. Like some kind of thoughtful, thought, thought, eh, thoughtless fool. I was trying to say thoughtful list. Thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver, Cleaver to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What kids that's accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we can settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the D Galaxy team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this p painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm, yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I, I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm gratefully for what you've done for my Lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier and talking my thanks. I appreciate that, homie. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. You attain three citrus berries. We in there. Let me care for your Pokemon as well and appreciate for fighting on our behalf. Hey, I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Y'all cool with me, man. I think we finally come to believe that our true, uh, that our truly did wait. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. Though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. It seems we've settled things here. Though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. Hey, bro, you you see what you want to see. And believe what you want to believe. There it is, guys. Y'all already know the vibes, man. If you enjoy the content, man. Hit that like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And also, if you always want to know when your boy drops another video, hit that bell notification. That is episode four in the rest, guys. I do appreciate every last one of you guys for coming through, checking this out, man. Do be looking forward to episode five here coming soon, guys. I've been enjoying this game so far. Easy said and done. Nothing to debate or discuss about. But with all that being said, guys, y'all already know the vibes, man. This your boy Kid Stats, and we up out of here. Peace.